Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Polybridge 3. We've completed 101 levels. That's as many Dalmatians as there are in the world. Oh really? And we've done them all unbreaking and under budget, which means we're on to the radical meltdown. A whole new world. A whole new world. Make it stop. So this first level is called Waste Disposal. We've got 22 grand, a load of resources. And uh, the theme for this entire world is custom shapes. So is that what like all this junk is in the background? Does that like... Oh, yes. Ooh, ooh, it pushes us. Okay. So I assume there's nothing too wrong with just doing like a bridge like that to start just to get us up and over. Oh, look, that then pushes you. Now, do you collide... Yes, it collides with vehicles and road. So basically, this bridge on this side, it's going to take the weight of that, which could mess some stuff up. I'm sort of thinking, actually, is it better just to go flat? Because then I can use like less pieces, perhaps. All right, let's just see what happens here. So as we push that, it goes ooh, along the bridge, but it is quite heavy. Not ideal. I mean, perhaps it's better to go down in a slope anyway now the thing is this oh no it's good we're good okay so then oh you knob <laughs> you tricked me All right, let's put a bit more a bit more angle on that it's a bit steeper is that good oh i think what's happening where it's catching on the floor doing like silly billies so i've just made that a bit flatter yeah so that slides now i think it was sort of catching and it was making our wheel slam all right anyway oh we're in the top six percent 650th in the world that ain't too bad considering i haven't even tried to shave this in the slightest so first thing i want to do is watch this with the stress on so i think i can bring this side up quite a bit. I can probably shrink those trusses on top as well. And as we have learnt, bringing them to the middle is the cheapest way to do a truss in this game. So we got that. That gets pretty stressed, but it's pretty good. Yeah, they go nice and red. I like that. So then this... Oh, what, what, what happened there? We changed something on the left bridge so that this now gets like it rolls oh and rolling is not good i am thinking as well i've just moved this entire bridge to the left a bit can i can i get away with like oh yeah i can a road can i get away with wood there no not at all i think that's a lot cheaper though oh and it did actually it did start sliding we've just got to stop the roll somehow okay that's good that's good that that's not good they can do similar thing though move all the parts over this way try and get just a single brace underneath i mean i can probably get away with road we can then bring these trusses down surely I mean, I'm thinking maybe I can get away with wood there. No, maybe not. Maybe not. But something like that seems pretty good. It's sort of mirrored. Just this side is a bit stronger because we've got like, we got we to gotta take the weight of that. But you can see that works fine. We're, we're in the top 2%, 164th. The max stress is pretty high. Oh, did we beat Tyler actually? Oh yeah, of course did. Don't even know why I bother looking at that, to be honest. All right, in the gallery, let's have a look at the cheapest solutions. Oh my, how does that not break there's like no bridge there but yeah pretty much all these cheap ones do the same thing it's worth noting they sort of you start off flat and then drop off yeah they all seem to do that i guess that stops it rolling uh ranz with the with the rc propaganda it's no longer lowercase i've just noticed but uh they did it for under 10 grand including propaganda that is impressive but yeah at the highest end of the gallery we've got <laughs> we got a very jiggly bridge on the left there. We got loads of steel on the right. This one, look at the truss work on there. That, <laughs> I just realized what they are. Oh, RTE is back. Trying to get some RT stuff back into the thing. Oh, we've got a we got a break at the end. But did you notice we had a cantilevered bridge at the end as well as this diamond truss? That is very RT. Um, This one, Alan. <laughs> Alan. Oh, look, he drove over the bull. I mean, the, the thing that we're pushing. The waste. Oh, I have a feeling this one's going to be almost identical. Because look, that goes into there. Drive over the top. Clever. The Captain Crack has got RC propaganda nailed down. They've even included a hard hat on the left truss there. Look at that. That is beautiful. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at this. Inverted suspension tension bridge. That is extremely bilfy. Fair play. Anyway, next level. 85 grand on a bucket scoop. So, wait, what? What are they? Pre press play. Oh, my God. What are these? Uh, okay. So we've got to get moped. Do they... Okay, they both they both rotate clockwise. So I guess we've got to get moped into one of these. And that's the bucket. And it scoops it across. And the question is, do I like... 
Do I try and use tension on these? Doing something like that? Or do I try and use these rocks and build like up from them? I don't know what would be cheaper actually. But that is the middle. So if we for now try and build up from there. I mean I should probably I should probably build the first bit first, right? <laughs> <laughs> to see if we can actually get into into one of these. I don't know. Do I just go straight? Do these collide with road? No, they don't. So hopefully, I can just sort of balance these on the rope. And if I do this somewhat symmetrical, I can probably just rope between those. And then that should... Oh, okay. Maybe maybe I do need to build up from the rocks. All right, I'm going to attempt to do an on-grid solution for this one. Lot of boring math later. All right, I tried the grid. The grid is just out. It's really, really annoying. So instead, I'll have to eyeball it in just like a good engineer does. All right, so there's a very, very rough truss. Let's just see what happens with like straight roads. So, oh, we do actually end up in there. And he's sort of self-writing. So we end up down there. Oh man, okay. This is working a bit easier than I thought it would. Ooh, although we've ended up in the gap. We have ended up in the gap. Is that bad or will that still work? I think we're just going to get crushed into the bridge. <laughs> okay, so some slight tweaks I can see we can do. We can start this bit of road way further, but then we need to sort of climb up a bit. So perhaps something like this. I'm just playing this in fast motion. So yeah, we get to there and then... Oh, we don't make it up. Oh, wait, hang on. Yes. Okay, we're good. We're good. And that's in the end. Okay, we've done it. We did spend over 50 grand. We're in the top 33%. 3,000th. I think we can make some changes to this, don't you? Now, if we look at the stress, you can see there's, there's not a lot going on. So I imagine we can probably remove like most of this hey, if something like that works then we can get really really cheap like that left side okay so let's try and rest on here and then we're just gonna build this like really really thinly now that is a bit more yellow and orange that's what we actually want to see despite the break because it does mean that like the pieces they're actually doing something now so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and thin this side up as well i don't i don't think we need a lot of this bridge I, I imagine all of these can like really come up like that so let's see how this works with some tweaks no it fell off <laughs> okay may need to just move these roads to the left slightly but right how's that looking oh no that end didn't work this time and then that should Right, we're in the top 7%. We did exactly the same thing, but we did it for 32 grand. I mean, we beat Tyler by 10 grand. Uh, that's what we look like at the moment. I could go a lot cheaper. I'm not actually sure if I can be bothered, though. Uh, mostly because if we watch this replay, look look how long this bit takes. I was like, oh, shall I tweak it? Nah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. We've just got to be really, really patient, and then it works. But yeah, I'll, I'll take a top 7%. Like, we're 702nd in the world. Uh, let's go have a look in the gallery. Okay, so the lowest budget. Oh, of course it was one of those. Oh, look at that. That is cheese to the max. One of those horrible dangly roads. And it actually holds this part of the bridge up. Interesting. They did go from the bottom like I did. But on the right, that looks like it's a, a cantilevered. Yeah, look. Oh, here's another one. Does that fall down? So onto that. That then leans to the right. Oh, look. You can see there's weights down there. I don't know what they're for. That didn't break somehow. Fair play. So yeah, wall braces, probably the much cheaper solution. Uh, for some reason, we have a replay of the last level. Random. <laughs> oh, this one. Look, they got the tension to work. So that's what I tried at the very start. I, it just didn't work in the slightest. They got it to work. 21 grand. Nice. Next one. Oh, yes. RCE propaganda. And they still got a 21 grand solution. Well done, Razdazd. Anyway, to the highest budget, a very simple truss by Art C E. It's a very arty bridge. I will say that. It's a bit like it's a bit like Picasso y. Okay, I like it, Picasso. But I mean it works. You cannot you cannot say it doesn't work. Now this one we've got a big red I mean I was trying to think something funny, so it's, it's a knob. Oh wow. Baby waffles. Thank you so much. Look at all the RC propaganda. Look at all the Marge Simpsons they've done as well. This one <laughs> Guess who it is? Alan! It's knocking those off every time. I knocked all of them off. They're all wet now. Like, why is this one so expensive? Like, honestly, there's... Oh, they got foundations. That's why. They've gone to town with the foundation. This one, RC propaganda suspended in the water there. And then they've got a load of, like, you know those radiator keys to get, like, air out of your radiators? They got those hanging just in case. You never know when they come in handy, to be fair. This one, again, lots of, lots of foundations. This one looks like a bit of a, a funky problem. 
There's like mushrooms growing everywhere. There is some RC propaganda in the middle, though, so I can appreciate that. This one. Oh, look at that. That is commitment to the RC propaganda. Good work, Brevin. This one. Oh, a nice little, nice little submerged arch there with the RCE propaganda branded into it using extremely strong foundations there that is pure engineering and it goes neon green at the end oh, anyway look at this is cheaty look at the amount of tension under there they've done tension but also like a truss over the top as well yet they've still managed to get the propaganda hanging underneath that is commitment what is that <laughs> I don't know. Oh, wow. What is that one? The amount of trussage on that. <laughs> Insane. Looks like no nifty sponsored solution this time. Maybe the marketing budget has all dried up. Anyway, on to the next level. Okay, so this level's called Hanging in the Balance. So we've got a, a Jeep. It's not a G-Wagon, just a Jeep. We have this on top. Does that... Ooh, does that pivot about that point? Let me just see. So if I hang something there... Oh, nothing happened. <laughs> Nothing happened and the Jeep just went absolutely flying because we're at five times. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's uh, let's hang from there. Let's hang from there. We'll then boosh across the gap in road. And if we just truss across like this, this won't be strong enough, but I can probably get away with just adding like some extra rope, like that sort of thing. So if we press play on this, what actually happened? Oh, it, ooh, uh, what the? I don't know what started happening. It, it did lean. Hang on a sec. So how how long is that? That's 24 meters to the middle. Yeah, I think we're slightly... Are we slightly unbalanced? Or is it just where I put my rope? Let me just see. Does it always... Oh, oh always lean. Okay, so yeah, basically this stops us leaning like leaning to the left. It is going to lean to the right, uh, which is actually quite an easy fix. Because I imagine I can probably get away with just like ramping this side up a bit. Now, this might not work in the slightest. I'm going to give it a go though. Oh, it wasn't bad. It wasn't actually bad. So what about that? Make the jump. Oh, I didn't make the jump at all. <laughs> I think we had one more bit of road. Oh, no. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Because that makes that makes the, everything unbalanced. I mean, could I counter this by going down? Yes. Oh, oh, no. What is it with civil engineers and movement? And <laughs> my brain's just shut off. I'll tell you what. I may be better just hanging like a weight on this side. If I bring this road back up so it's flat. Hang a road underneath. That stops it rotating. But then... Oh, no, it broke. But now I've made that middle truss a bit better. I think... Yes, we make it. We make it. 27. Oh, it broke afterwards. But that didn't count. It was fine. It was all fine. Okay. Oh, we're in the top 11%. Not too bad. Did we beat Tyler? Yeah, easy. Can we do better though now there's a few different ways we can look at doing this i think whatever we do we want to keep the weight on the left hand side because that rocking and the dunk afterwards does not help us but like the ropes are pretty expensive so what i'm thinking if from the start we go like as high as possible, as steep as possible, then we shouldn't need as much rope to like hold this thing up. And like I can potentially dangle the road from this thing as well, depending on the headroom. But the benefit of being high is that we can probably stop at least there and then easily make the jump. So what I'm thinking, we do like truss like this and then go up to there and then just add a tiny bit of road and then the bridge should hang from that like if i get rid of that you can see the bridge is hanging i've done all the weight on the right hand side so it was jiggling everywhere but like if we truss this as well and then try and get away with something like that if the headroom's good here this could work oh oh the headroom wasn't good but it still did work. Oh, it did break though. Oh, and then it really broke afterwards. <laughs> okay, so you broke. What if we just make that truss a little bit taller? Yeah, the headroom isn't ideal. So let's lower these a bit. Okay, so how's how's this going to work? Nice jump. Oh, forward roll for style points. 20 grand we're on. 223rd, top 3%. Decent. I can probably shrink these trusses quite a bit as well. Like, do I need that rope there? Could I do it up to there? No. <laughs> Could I do it to there? No. Okay, fair enough. I do need it down to the bottom. Do I need rope though? Could I... Could I do... Yes, wooden rope. Okay, yeah, that's good. Do I need that? Yes. Can it be wood? No. Yeah, anyway, I'm pretty sure we can reduce a lot of these. Like, I don't need that piece probably. I can probably... Like, adding gaps is probably fine. Just a bit more flex everywhere. So if we play that, you can see the stress. Oh, it's not It's not stressed in the slightest. Can I get away with that? No. Too rickety. Too rickety. Pretty sure, though. Just make these absolutely... I was going to say tiny, but um, 
Maybe that didn't work as intended. But yeah, I think get rid of some of these to make like just some ropes at the end because they're not really... Oh, they are needed. You're making me look stupid, game. But yeah, that's top 2%. That's pretty good. Let's have a look in the gallery because how cheap do people do this? Ours 170th with 19 grand. Top did it for 5 grand. Is that going to be in the gallery? Oh, it is in the gallery. Oh, they did a huge swing. No way. Oh, that's absolutely sick. Fair play. A nice one for showing the replay as well. Oh, look, loads of people went upwards. They did like utter cheese solutions. Makes, yeah, makes sense to go. Look how many supports they had. So they had no trusses, all just supporting from the top. Yeah, well, good to know I was on to the right thing. How did they actually support? I don't see any road up there. Yeah, that one I do. Yeah, similar to mine, but with a swing at the end. <laughs> So cool. What is that? Oh my good. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That was actually really impressive. I don't even know what that bit does at the start. Oh, Teddy making it look simple. Just, just dangle a truss. That's all you need, mate. None of this changing angle malarkey. Look, they did a tension bridge as well. All right, well, anyway, highest budget could be interesting on this one. Look at the stress. What's the... Oh, 69.69% stress. Alan! Yes, Alan! He hasn't done that for like every single replay and I've just ignored it, as I? It's like I've been focused on something else in his replays. This one... Ooh, RCE with the cross cable support there. Love it. This one... Ooh, what is that? Is that like... Oh my... What? No... Ah! Oh, he made like a blooming bicycle thing. Let's watch that again. That does actually... The bottom turns the top wheel, right? This was done in June, by the way. So yeah, as that drives, it's attached by an outer node to the top wheel, which moves it across. Go Saigon is absolutely mental. Fair play, dude. However, no RC propaganda. So <laughs> this one's better. What is all that? Oh, that's a weight to stop it dangling. Oh, Payden with the suspension. Look at that. Look at that. And look at the weight on the left-hand side. Cheeky elephant head stopping it tilting. This. Oh, look at those. Look at those weights. They're so cool. Like one's RC propaganda and one's like Paddy's face. Like his nose isn't that long, but it is Paddy, definitely. All right, this. Oh, look, we got we got an arched road over the top. There's like tension and tension and weights and there, it's all going on on that one. Anyway, the next level is called construction askew. So what have we got? We got a plane and a car. So there's the car. There's the plane. Oh, and there's a star we got to get. So what do we actually have? We've got like a rotatey thing. Oh, no, look, we can only build. We can only build. Oh, that's why it's askew. So do we build like a cantilevered bridge that lifts itself up? I have a feeling that's what we're going for. So I guess a bridge. So that will get to like there. So yeah, it needs to be one longer. Oh, man, this is quite long, actually. Not used to dealing with such long ones, if I'm honest. That's what she said. <laughs> so if we just build underneath, like I'm seeing, I'm seeing the replays of this one already. There's going to be, there's going to be a lot of them, aren't there? Like I've just, I've pretty much just built one. I didn't even mean to. But let's see what happens here. This is probably going to need to be steel. It drives on. Okay. So it's got to, it's got to tilt up a bit. <laughs> Devs, you haven't helped yourself with this level. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying about the matter. Right. Let's try that then. So going up. Ooh, it was getting there. It needs to go up quite a bit further, actually. All right, is that going to go high enough? Yes, it will if it doesn't break. So I've just steeled it up a bit. This should be strong enough. Get the start, get to the end. Oh, you silly boy. I just made all the roads a little bit longer. Oh, and it looks like it's not quite enough. We can always go higher, though. All right, so how's this? How's this? Yes. Yes. No, I'm not sure if this is possible with five bits of road. Although after a bit of tweaking, he's only gone and done it. Yes, 9,293. Oh man, the top people did it for eight grand. I'm in the top 1% though, first try. Oh, I'm 89th in the world. Nice. Did we beat Tyler? Did oh yeah. <laughs> what was he doing on this one? All right, question is, can I be bothered to make this make this any cheaper like i could swap the steel with road maybe let's turn the stress on yeah the trouble is it's going to cock everything up all right well i did try and get it cheaper i actually i pretty much couldn't to be fair so 89th will do lowest budget in the gallery let's load her up okay oh look it's sort of like what i did is it one two three four five yeah they did five bits of road as well they got road underneath to work i did try that i i could not achieve that at all 
eight grand. This one, again, they got road to work underneath as well. No idea how. And the five bit, everyone got five bits of road. I was really chuffed with myself for doing that. And everyone's gone and done it. Oh, wow, this person used only muscles, only wood. Fair play. You are a pro, boy. You are a pro, Will, I think I meant there. Anyway, probably not going to be surprising what the highest budget can do. <laughs> I feel like this was the most obvious level to do this on. But yeah, there's another one, another one, another one with my name attached to it, and another one. Not another one? Right, well, anyway, we're four levels in. We've got, oh, only... Only eight more to go. And then we move on to the four sheep difficulty. Oh boy. But for now, I'll say peace, love and bridges. Bye guys.